Today we're changing the front brakes and rotors on a 2006 Toyota Sienna. First thing you're gonna wanna do, put the emergency brake on and pop the hood. Loosen the reservoir lid to the brakes. Some tools you're gonna need, half inch drive ratchet, 17 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 13 16 millimeter socket, a method to compress the brake piston, flat bladed screwdriver, brake parts cleaner, caliper grease, jack stand, and a jack. First thing you wanna do, jack it up. jack stand under there lower it onto the jack stand take your flathead remove the hubcap take your 13 sixteenths remove the wheel Take your 14 millimeter, remove the caliper. We have another bolt on the bottom. Try to set your bolts and parts out in the order you took them off. It'll make it easier to put it back together. So we have lug nuts, hubcap, lug nuts, caliper bolts. Pull the caliper off, hang it up there. Pull the pads. Outside one goes on the outside. Inside one goes on the inside. You don't want to mix them up. Move these clips. They just pop off. All right, remove the caliper bracket mounting bolts. There's two of them, 17 millimeter. Leave them there so you don't lose them. Take your new clips. those in. Mount your warning bars on your new pads. Notice the inside pad is on the opposite side that the outside pad is on and they just pop on. You might have to lock that tang into that groove there. You might need a pick or a screwdriver to help push that in there. All right, that one's on. Grab the other one. Same thing, opposite side. That one's on. Now you're gonna take your caliper mounting bracket. Pull these slide pins out. Wipe the grease off of them. 
Take your brakes part, brake parts cleaner. Spray it in there. Get it clean. Put some grease on the slide. Pop it back in. Make sure it moves freely. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you pull these out one at a time. This one has a rubber thing on the end and this one does not. Don't want to mix them up. Some grease on this pin. Remove the rotor. You might have some screws in here that are holding it on. It's a, during the assembly line, it keeps the rotor from falling off while it goes down the line. You don't need them when you put it back together. A lot of times they're stripped out or they strip out when you remove them. So just be careful with those. Uh, your rotor might be a little stuck. This one is. If these screws are not here and it's still stuck, you get a hammer. Bang it off. Take it over to your new rotor, make sure they got you the right one. And you're going to want to clean this off. It's got a rust protecting film on it and it's kind of greasy. Car won't stop if you leave it on there or it won't stop well. So get that off. Clean the other side. it off put it on your hub take one lug nut just to hold it in place while you put everything together take the caliper mounting bracket Get them started with your hands so you don't cross thread them. Take the 17 millimeter, tighten them. Pull your caliper down. Take one of the old pads, put it in there and compress the piston. You can use the C-clamp or you can use this awesome tool made by Lyle. It's about $50. The C-clamp is cheaper. Just want to compress that piston all the way down. Pop in your new pads putting the outside one on the outside and the inside one on the inside. Face of the pad goes toward the rotor. Take your caliper bolts. Slide the caliper back on. Get them started with your hands.
Take your 14 millimeter. Now move the rotor, make sure it's not scraping on anything. Sometimes these clips will be touching it and you have to readjust it. Jack it back up, put the wheel on. Get them started with your hand. Take your 13 16 socket, tighten them back up. Reinstall your hubcap, lower the car, put your brake reservoir lid back on. Lower the hood. Before you drive off, make sure you pump the brakes. The car may not stop the first time. Pump them until they are firm. And do the same thing on the other side and that's how you replace your brake pads and rotors on a 2006 toyota sienna you should be good to go so get out there and do it